social media has made communicating with one another so much easier, and the same could be said sometimes for catching criminals. A recent case in Anne Arundel County was a great example. 11 News reporter George Lettuce is live at police headquarters there with a story about some ill advised Facebook comments from a wanted man. I guess he just could not resist, George. <laughs> Yeah, Donna, who knows what was going through the mind of Roger Ireland when he saw that he was featured on the Facebook page of the police department, and then he decided to pose a pretty bold challenge to detectives. Each week on Facebook, Anne Arundel County Police post pictures of a few people they'd like to catch and hopefully get some tips from the public. It's called Wanted Wednesday. This week, Roger Ireland of Glen Burnie was featured. We see Mr. Ireland comment. He commented in some derogatory ways that the general public didn't get to see, and then he commented in a way that w the general public did get to see. In one of those comments, Ireland, who was wanted on probation violation, taunted officers, saying, y'all will never catch me. I, I thought he was trying to make a mockery of the justice system, so it was time for him to go to jail. Police got some help from people who know Ireland when they started commenting and tagging members of his family, which in the Facebook world is like a tracking device. Investigative techniques allow us to find out where you are. So if, if, if you want to use your social media or what have you to taunt the police, then you're, you're, you're giving them information and we're okay with that. So by the next day, detectives had a pretty good idea of where he was most likely hanging out. And then at 10th Street and Patapsco Avenue, just over the line in Baltimore City, officers zeroed in on a vehicle they thought he would be driving. And they arrested him without incident uh, just less than 24 hours after he told us, y'all ain't going to catch, catch me. Ireland was released Friday. We tried to track him down for a comment the old-fashioned way with no luck. Lieutenant T.J. Smith suggests anyone else featured on Wanted Wednesday should just turn themselves in. But if you don't and you want to play the game, you can comment on our Facebook page and we're going to come after you. This Wanted Wednesday campaign seems to be doing pretty well. Of the five pe people featured this week, three of them have been captured. We're live in Millersville, George Lettuce, WBAL, TV 11 News.